This is the annual town meeting, so the vote is required as a four-fifth vote. On the motion before us, Mr. Bagan. Uh, yes. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Just before, you, before I take Mr. Bagan, I've got to take Mr. Mastascusa to find out what the Finance Committee recommendation is. You'll be next in line. Mr. Mastascusa. <laughs> Mr. Moderator, the Finance Committee voted to recommend this article. Thank you. Mr. Bagan. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. We'll take it one more time. Mr. Moldo, the Selectman's recommendation. Moderator, the Board of Selectmen votes to recommend. Now we go with Mr. Thank you. Um, I just wanted to know if the uh, 143 12104 uh, pertains to the water department. Mr. Hanlon. No. Oh, no. Mr. Hanlon. No. Mr. Hanlon would be the one who would answer for the water department. But Mr. What? Young or Mr. Maldon, either one. I believe the, uh, the question the money was claims to the Andover, purchase of Andover water. Thank you. Any further discussion? Here is none. On the main motion under Article 6, which requires a four-fifth vote, we'll try for a unanimous first. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Those opposed? Unanimous. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Article 6. Mr. Article 7. Mr. Muldoon. Mr. Moderator, I move to raise and appropriate the sum of $238,000 for the purpose of making capital expenditures as detailed as items A, B, C, E, F, G, and H as specified in Article 7, as, in, as printed in the warrant. <coughs> Article B has been deleted from the motion. Sir, the motion that the Finance Committee have a recommendation that comes to close the Um, 
It's just a uh, situation where all these articles are being funded by the tax levy, and we felt at this time this was an article that was not, this part of the article was not needed at this moment. It was something that could be put off six months to six months from now. And uh, we were concerned about uh, the tax levy and the anticipated revenue that we would have to pay for it and other items on the uh, warrant. So we decided to, to take the conservative route and remove this portion of the article at this time. Not that it will, will not reappear six months from now. Mr. Pasquale, you have another Yeah, question? I just have a follow-up. Just how I was thinking. I looked at page four, and I always go back to every department that turns something back to the town called unused. And if you look at that, you'll we'll see that I don't want to deal with the school department, but we gave nothing back. The police department gave 51000 back, so I said they can have twenty four. Administration, I was favoring this 30000 because the town administrator came back 18000 And then if you go look at the salary pool, I don't know why they budgeted 120 and they never spent it. So they gave 120000 back. They gave 23% of the total back of the 516. I went down the town buildings, even with the library, they return forty two thousand in salaries and six thousand in expenses. So I says, well, let's go pay the line. I keep saying to the school department, what do you need me? Two years ago, my good friend is coming to the microphone, was able to come back with two thousand five hundred and thirty five dollars. I I come in here. Now it's zero. So I have a hard time every time you come up and say, yeah, I want this, but nothing comes back in the unused funds by the school department. That's what I'm looking at. Please state the name and address. Carl Nelson, school business manager. Mr. Nelson. I'm pleased to report that uh, the school department returned a surplus of $27,142 this year, as shown on page four of your warrant. And with the support of the finance committee, we we transferred that surplus to reduce the deficit in the food service account. So, in fact, there was a surplus that was put to good purpose. Thank you, Mr. Nelson. Gentlemen at the microphone, please take your name and address, sir. George Luongo, 18 Midway Road. Uh, I have a question for the, uh, the school department on the technology plan, $100,000.
presentation and talk about technology plan that we put together tonight, just to answer some of the questions that you're asking. Uh, just to clarify a couple of things, we have not received $100,000 in the last two years since being on the school committee, but as an initiative that was asked by the Finance Committee, um, we put together a comprehensive plan that details uh, specifics around how technology can be used over the next few years. And, um, to the benefits to the school in the town. So let me go through this and again answer some more of the questions you, uh, you asked. Just to uh, kind of set up the context of this, that we put together a plan for the last six months and the uh, plan components were uh, derived from the uh, school strategic plan, uh, go number four of it. The school technology committee and the um, Director of Curriculum and um, Department of Education, uh, uh, Department of Education, excuse me, let me give me that. Okay, I can talk to this a little bit easier. So, that, the plan that I want to articulate is derived from these uh, four areas. Um, the primary goals of the plan is, is five different goals. One is to improve the ratio of students per computer. Um, we're well below the state average in Department of Education standard for five students to one computer. Today we have approximately on average 6.7 students to one computer, or 34% above the state average. So one of the goals over the next three years, not in one year, not the second year, but over the next three years to get to just the average of the time education and the state average, which is posted on the um, DOE website. Also to increase computer internet access, network access, as well below the state average, again, in time education standard 90%, we have approximately 72% of our computers hooked up to networks in all the internet. Third, we want to expand the wireless network. Um, that obviously reduces the importation costs to hook up the computers, versus land networks also uh, facilitates communication of educational practices and improves an edu educational quality. Fourth, we want to replace the antiquated computers that we have. Today we have 12% of our computers of a low the minimum to of education standard. And the of education standard is published uh, every November, updated in November. And today, we uh, have computers that still run 386 chips um, and have operating systems uh, at least four revisions old. Uh, again, we want to get to the standard. We're not looking to exceed that, just get to the averages that the state um, provides now. Last but not least is provide teacher access to computers also. Uh, wouldn't it be a uh, request uh, by the Department of Education and teachers doing this too? That provide teachers access to computers so they can facilitate communication among the teachers in learnings as well as with the students. So those are the five goals we have as part of this three-year plan. Some things to consider beyond just the PCs themselves and computers is software licenses, professional development for teachers, computer, re computer repair technicians, uh, network technicians, etc. So a portion of the cost is allocated to managing other technology components besides PCs. Additionally, we use a five to eight year cycle for replacing our computers. Unlike the industry standard of a three year cycle, um, we look at swapping out computers that, again, in some cases we have revision uh, software that's uh, OS that's uh, four pieces old, and we're closer to the eight year cycle than the five year cycle. So what we want to do is keep the computers more up to date, not to say the latest and greatest, but at least adequate enough so, people, so kids have access to uh, the internet and uh, software that resides on PCs. We have a breakdown per school. This is a summary of a plan, but we have a breakdown per school how the technology is being applied this year as well as the next two years. For example, the high school, we go to network more than teachers' computers that are not networked today, replace some of the integrated computers, provide smart classroom 